Welcome to the Vegas Vegan. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Today, we are whiskey tasting Jameson, the original and Jameson Stout edition. And why not? This whiskey is a traditional Irish whiskey worth reviewing. It's also vegan friendly. In fact, many whiskeys are. So let's get into this whiskey review. Don't forget to hit that like and hit that subscribe button. Happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day! Day. <laughs> Welcome to the Vegas Vegan. My name is Christina. I'm David. Today we have a very big treat for you. Jameson, Irish whiskey. The second one just as a comparison, Jameson, castmates, stout edition. In the Jameson, it is 40% ABV, which means it's 80% alcohol. We got this at $21 here in Las Vegas, Nevada for this bottle. And then the stout is going to be roughly about 33 again here in Las Vegas. This one here is uh, quite a bit different than this one. They are using Irish stout casks from uh, 8B distilling. And so what they're taking is Irish stout casks that have been used and producing this or finishing off in that. And then the company 8D is also then using Jameson's used original Jameson. And they're putting their stout in to finish it off that way. So they're kind of going back and forth on it. Uh, this one here again, same as the other one, is 40%. Uh, so it's 80 proof. Uh, both so, are, like for like. Like for like. Both of them are triple even distilled. Steven. Just like they all mostly do in uh, in Ireland. The first thing I notice is the color. Light amber, golden, mm -hmm. light, light in color. It's Very nice. light. Okay. So shall we give yep. it a nose? Ooh. Pears. I'm thinking of apple. Apple. Yeah. Apple and pear. Cinnamon. Yeah. Isn't that crispy? Yeah. No. yeah, it's like they, they took some apples and pears and sprinkled some cinnamon on it. Yeah. This is, yeah, it's delicious. I could totally do this. The nose likes it. Yes. This stuff you'll see in bars everywhere. It's um, readily available, so it's easy to find. Yeah. yeah. And this is the stuff that a lot of people, they, they see that and they think whiskey, oh God, this is going to be horrible. This is going to be so intense and got a bite to it and it's hard to palate. Not with, so far not with this smell. Ready? Cheers. <laughs> mm, that's nummy. Very easy. No burn. Light on the palate. Just delicious. I'm tasting pear mm -hmm. and apple. Yes, yeah, so you Cinnamon. get more. You get more pear. I get more apple, but I do taste the pear as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a little warming, it kind of warmed down here and then went back up to my ears, so I feel the warmth of the alcohol. Like, real fruity in here. It's like, I don't know, like lemon maybe? Yeah, I could, I could, I could see lemon, yeah. It's yeah. delicious, it's, it's like nice. springtime. I'd rather have this than a glass of wine, quite personally. I think there's, it's more fruited, it's light, it's crisp. Um, it's something you can use as a sipping drink while you're, you know, eating your little fruit and cheese tray. And I don't know, I just think of springtime when I think of it. That, that's really a good idea is, I, I never thought of that, is mm -hmm. instead of drinking wine. Yeah. The, the, if you drink wine, you would you would enjoy this. You would love you would enjoy this. Jameson whiskey. This yeah. is a very, it, you would it, totally the, love. the sensations, the, the taste, the, the way that it's light on the palate, mm -hmm. it's very similar to wine. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice, that's nice. Yeah, the, in fact, wine tasting, whiskey tasting, they, they're kind of like the same but different. They're looking for the nose yeah. and the tastes and the notes and all the little layers of trying to figure out what is in the drink. Yeah. And this is really, really, really nice. Yeah, that's really refreshing. That's, yeah. that's, that's surprising because before I started drinking whiskeys, I had that same impression that this is gonna hurt. This is gonna be something that I don't want to put myself through. Yeah. But this is really enjoyable. Like, we would always have Jameson in a cocktail because, you know, people that drank it neat 
but they were like badass, right? We didn't know That's back nice. then how nice it is alone. Like yeah. this is a great, refreshing, stand alone dram, for sure. Very nice. I would recommend drinking it neat. I really would. That's really nice. If you haven't given Jameson a try, mm. if you like wine, you're gonna like this dram, for sure, for so. sure. Yeah, that was a good one. Very enjoyable. I like, still like the idea of, instead of wine, go Jameson. Jameson is a buy all the way. I love it. I think it would be a wonderful beginner's whiskey. Oh, yes. Definitely. For sure. Definitely. Because it's only 80 proof, you know, compared to some of the other whiskeys. Yeah. And it's smooth. You know, it's, it's no bitterness, no sharp points, no, uh, just, just delightful. Yeah, and it's, I'm still getting the fruity taste. Yeah, and me it's too. just the apple with me a lot, but um, pear, I get the lemon uh, now. More lemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but you got a lot of very fruit. nice, very nice, wonderful. And it's a great budget whiskey, right? Because yeah. twenty-one bucks for yeah. this whole thing. That's really nice. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna move on to the stout. The stout edition. Now this one says that your flavors you're gonna get are rich coffee. Ooh, I love Smooth coffee. Smooth chocolate. Ooh, I love chocolate. And wait, butterscotch. Ooh, oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So this one they're saying it's 8D Brewing mm -hmm. that is doing the uh, the swapping of the barrels with them, and they have an Irish stout they uh, had in the barrel previously to this. They have the Jameson family motto on there. Yeah, you're right. right it's here. that band right below it. Their crest. Sin a metu in Gaelic, I believe, is what that stands for is without fear. Without and that's their fear. family motto. So I like it. So without fear, let's taste. Cheers. Oh, we didn't know this. That's where I'm going first. Freak. <laughs> I'm tasting it with my nose. Gonna... Ooh. Mm. This is good. I'm picking up on the butterscotch. That's right first, away. first thing I had is butterscotch. Wow. Mmm. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> mm. So anything besides better stuff? Maybe a little chocolate. I'm I, not, don't. I don't get any coffee. Maybe coffee. When you said coffee. <laughs> Butterscotch and coffee, that but I'm not. Butterscotch jumped out at me. I'm not smelling the chocolate. Yeah, that butterscotch though did jump out at me. Yeah, look at the difference. So this was the Jameson. It's a lot lighter. Yeah, the this color is a little darker. darker. It is so darker. A little bit weighted. Okay. A little sip. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god. Butterscotch. Yeah. Total butterscotch. Yeah. Ah. Feels a little oilier, a little weighted, this, and delicious like a cream, yeah. Yeah, like this, a butterscotch cream. There you go. Oh that, my yeah. god. This yeah, one, this is good. This compared. Ooh. This one seemed a little bit more dry. This one again, more like wine. Crisp. Oh yeah, crisp. This one has, like you said, Heavy. has some more weight to it, and silky. And it creamy. just you yeah. you get that that flavoring just kind of sliding over the palate. really good this I could wow. see again another great whiskey for beginners I love it neat it's mm. delicious I wouldn't it's delicious. I wouldn't want anything to it you know some people could add butterscotch to their coffee <laughs> I'm thinking you know mm. one of the Irish coffees yeah. you could totally add this to that and that would be so decadent Whoa. Yeah, this is really nice. Really creamy, really butterscotchy. So this, these two, for my my uh, advice mm. would be is depending on what you're gonna be doing. Yeah. If you if you're gonna have like if I was at a table and they were offering up wine, I think I would go with the original Jameson just because it it just is crisp and yeah. it's just refreshing. Um, with the Stout Edition. Ooh, man, that would be uh, a nice zipper. This is a nice dessert, though. It is. Let's say somebody's had it at their dinner. This would be a nice dessert dram, right? Or a yeah. nice after dinner dram. It just feels like, oh, let's take all your cares away, Christina, and 
sip into this yeah, that's nice. creamy butterscotch stout. I love it. I'm not getting any bite. No, um, no. It's no very bite. easy on the palate. Uh, there's no after, no finish to where you're feeling any kind of bite or burn. Uh, this one has just a little bit of heat, just slight warm up just through here. Um, but but wow, it is. It's almost like. And, a, and a even, dessert. you know how sometimes whiskeys, they're like a little bit bitter at the end? Nothing. It's just, ooh, so nice. So nice. Two great whiskeys from Jameson. Wow. Ta da. Very That's nice. why. Very nice. He is yeah. the king. Two thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Every bar, every whiskey bar should have these two as a staple. Yeah. This They're one. great for beginners. Yes. Um, I, I love them both yeah. for different reasons. Exactly. I really do. Exactly. Yeah. We're not going to add water to these. There's we no just need. like them neat. There's no need. They're, they're so light and refreshing and yeah. wonderful. It's, I Just leave it alone. Just leave <laughs> enjoy. it. Just, just enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy. Always drink responsibly. Hit that like. And subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> and and enjoy. cheers. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Enjoy. Be safe. See you next time on The Vegas Vegan. Salud. Cheers. What is it? Schlanja? Schlanja? Launch mm. Yummy. I like that one. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Give me a kiss, Liv. That's a wrap, man. Ah. <laughs> Wrapping it up. That's Wrapping it up. Always drink responsibly. And if you missed my last review, we did Ardbeg. Click here. See you next time.